In this episode, I'm going to cover creating a reusable widget. I'll start off by creating a reusable widget, and then after that, I'll add it to the root of the application. So to get started, I'm going to go to my IDE. And in the last episode, I created a reusable widget right in line. But in this case, I'm going to do a new class, which is an is widget or implements is widget. And I'll show how you add that construction to the root of the application. So let me get started. So new, I'm going to go class and I'm going to call it my widget. Something simple to show you that this is a widget. Later in the episodes, I'll show you widgets with a purpose and how you add those to the application as well. And they could be children of other widgets. They're all composable and they all get added to the tree. Okay, so get, getting started, I'm going to create this class, my widget, and in the two episodes back, I talked about three type of widgets configuration. In this case, I'm going to use the is widget implementation. So implements is widget. And so let's do a command one, and that brings up the auto assist. I'm going to import that library, import. And the implementation now needs to be satisfied. So I'm going to double, well, double clicking on this or hovering over it should bring up the auto assist list as well. And I'm going to click and add unimplemented methods. Okay, so that brings up as widget as a method and it wants to return a widget. Okay, so what do I want to do is I'm going to add an if statement here because I'm going to cast this widget and I'll talk about that in a little bit more in a minute. So I'm going to go if widget is null. I'm going to construct it in this case. So widget then becomes equal to do HTML. Okay. Hello there. Something simple. Terminate that line. Okay. So I need to return the widget and then I'm going to create the widget as a field, but let's first import this HTML class and hovering over it brings up the auto assist import lit options. And I'm going to select on GWT UI as the package path. And the import statement goes to the top of the class. So this my widget is slowly coming together. Now I got to create the field. So I'm going to go command one to auto assist. And I'm going to say create the field. Okay, so it creates a private field in this class. And what I want to do here is actually see this in operation. So now what do I want to do? I want to use my widget. My and then and what's great about this is I can use it anywhere in my application now. This is a reusable piece of unit of code that makes it great because I can composite several different widgets in here because I could add more widgets to the tree. If it were, let's say this root of this widget was a container, it could have children of other widgets. Okay, I'm going to get into more of that in the future episodes. So keep your eyes peeled and come back for more. So let's go to the root of the project. And now that class or that widget is in another page. So let's say I want to define that widget, my widget. I want to declare it, declare the type, and then I'm going to name it. So my widget equals instantiate it new my widget. Okay, so that instantiates the widget. Well, what? Let's look at that constructor. Well, there is no constructor. Let's just add one just to show you. I'll go con uh, control space. Oh, oh, control space works on Mac too. Or, okay, so control space, my widget, auto assist. It provides an empty constructor. This isn't needed, but I'm using it as an example for this tutorial. Okay, so going back to the entry point where the app begins. Okay, I'm going to add my widget to the root. And what happens is there's a widget life cycle. And the two things that happen in a widget life cycle, when it's set up, when it's constructed and attached to the DOM, that's calling attached to the DOM. And when it's torn down or when it's detached, it will be torn down from the DOM or torn out of the DOM. And it will tear out the listeners and other things that are, that are constructed when it's attached to the DOM. And I'll cover this in greater detail in the future episodes. So let's look at this. So when it's attached, it will call as widget. And if it's null, it'll construct a new widget, 
which is going to be HTML. And it's going to say hello there and return the widget. If it's already been called and, and detached and reattached, in this case, because it's caching the widget, it will return the previous in, instance of it. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to save it. Let's go ahead and load it. Okay, whoops. Uh, command odd auto import. So let's debug it. I'm going to start up the previous instance. So in the previous video, I created the launcher by right clicking on the application module module and going debug as Gwit development mode with Jetty. Well, in this case, I'm going to rerun it by going up to the top and selecting project HTML, which is the same shortcut as I created on the left. Now I could rerun it from the left as well. Okay, so it's running up, copying the resources to the web app directory, gives me a link, double click on that link, starts up the browser and initially compiles the application. And there I go. Hello there. Let's just change something in my widget. Let's go to my widget command click. And now I'm in my widget and I'm going to say hello. Uh, let's say brand in my name, save it. Go back to the browser and reload. It does an incremental compile and changes the new widget. And in this case, it says, hello, Brandon. Let's just review real quickly. Um, opening, I opened up the dev tools with command option I, and then I'm gonna use the inspector and inspect the element. Well, I can see that the body is the root. That's the root, I talked about that in the previous episode. And my widget, is right here the div pretty cool well i'll get into more complicated widgets and the future episodes and so just to review real quick my simple reusable widget is now created and i only did it with the is widget implementation and i constructed it here as a cast widget implementation and then i added it to the entry point the bootstrapped where the module begins or where the application begins so that concludes this video today. Thanks for watching on how to create a widget and follow me for more tips and tricks on GXT and I'll catch you later.